Hey Stefan, uh, this is Justin and Sean. We're actually sitting inside the 911. Um, I wanted to just kind of videotape this rather than show pictures so you can kind of see the process that we're going through. I don't do this every single day, so you might have to give me just a second here, but we're gonna go to DME, our digital motor electronics to see uh, if there's any faults stored, first of all. No, nothing there, that's a good sign. Uh, and I wanna say, it's in vehicle data. Let's see here. So operating hours counter. Okay, so this is what we were talking about, range one and range two. It does have some fires in range two at roughly 549 hours um, of usage. And we're currently sitting at 469.4 uh, hours of usage. Um, the last time it hit red line was 1445. This is, I'm never concerned about this because that's just driving the car. This one, yes, it did happen. Uh, that's definitely above red line. At the same time, it was a long time ago. I mean, almost a thousand hours ago uh, of use. So, I mean, if something was, was inevitable gonna happen, it would have happened a long time ago. But here's the car that we're in, right? There's, there's the VIN number that we're attached to. See if there's anything else that pops up in here. Engine number, transmission number still in there. Nobody ever programmed the radio code, but that's okay. And no navigation system. So actually, I mean, that looks pretty typical, but this is the primary thing we we're coming into screen. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, if it doesn't, obviously give us a call, but um, yeah, please give, Sean, give, please give Sean a call to secure the car, and then we'll kind of keep rolling forward when our finance guy gets back tomorrow. Thanks, Stefan. Thank you.